Freedom on Hearing God TV, uh, joining you for another wonderful weekend with some prayer in it. Um, I wasn't here last week, and uh, I think I got some time to recharge since then, so I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should do this every two weeks. I don't know. But anyhow, um, welcome and uh, blessings. Um, let's just turn this meeting over to the Lord. Lord Jesus, we just thank you and we praise you for this gathering. And we just ask, Lord Jesus, that we would surrender ourselves and let you have your way this during this time as we uphold our brothers and sisters in you, Jesus, as we uh, intercess on their behalf for their needs and implore your Holy Spirit, come. Come and do a new thing in us. Uh, work, your, work your miracles within our hearts. And we just thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus. And Bring back in it. Okay. Yes, Jesus, you are gentle and you are quiet. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We just tune our spirits in. We tune ourselves into you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Okay. Oh, well, I am going to include some stuff from last week. Um, so. Mixed in here, uh, I got a praise just you know like a few days ago. Um, uh, a YouTuber said, "I wanted to let you know that Jesus totally used you to bless me. I had prayed for him to pray prayers of blessing over my life, being that my parents did not know how to do this, and sadly curses were spoken." And basically, the rest of the message in a nutshell was that I was part of a few people that were sent to expressly speak blessings over her for a specific thing. What's interesting is I probably s sent her a link to the video uh, prayer for creative people like three weeks ago. But isn't it interesting that it coincides perfectly when she asks this prayer and when she talks to other people. And it's really no coincidence. So praise God um, in his timing. Um, the other interesting thing was, is I had left the house to take my son to uh, basketball practice. And the Lord really put a burden on my heart. He's like, hey, it's Halloween. Who do we pray for on Halloween? And I said, oh, the people in the covens, the people that are trapped, that are blinded, um, you know, etc." And so all the way to practice, I was with my son, and we were praying. Um, and then all the way back, I was praying. And then when I came home, I got her message. Well, I had remembered God had delivered her out of the occult. And so then when I wrote back, I said, hey, would you agree with me? And so um, we had, you know, I, I spoke a prayer, and then she wrote back a prayer. And so it's awesome, you know. People think this is all just a coincidence. No, it's awesome. So, um, <laughs> the Lord is so good. Okay, so uh, more more uh, praises. Um, there is a person named James on YouTube that had artery blockage. He was in the hospital. They had him set up. He was going to receive a stint. Um, while he's in the hospital, he made a video and said, Hey, can you guys please pray for me? And so, you know, everybody started praying, and I happened to see his video. I was praying too. And then the day of the, sur the surgery was to be, he woke up with absolutely no chest pains. All his levels, which were formerly through the roof, were all down. Uh, and they sent him home. <laughs> and they said, Hey, um, take a regimen of regimen of medicines and there you go um he had asked for a prayer 
uh, regarding provision for the medicine. He has blood pressure issues and uh, also uh, diabetes. And so, you know, insulin and, and all the blood pressure medicine or whatever. So he was asking for prayer for provision regarding those things. But let's go a step further and let's pray for healing over those things. So Lord God, we just we just speak we speak to his blood yes lord jesus we speak your blood infused with his blood lord jesus your perfection your perfect healing hand upon him coursing through his veins Lord Jesus we speak healing we speak to all those veins and arteries that they be cleared by the power of your mighty name Jesus we also speak to that diabetes Lord Jesus if there be generational curses Lord Jesus we just ask that you would reveal that to him. We declare healing over him. We declare correct insulin levels. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that all things go well for him. We thank you indeed. We agree with him regarding the provisions for his needs that they be met financially, Lord Jesus. That medicines, if if that's where it's at right now, Lord Jesus, we just pray and agree uh, for the provision for those medicines. And we still hang on to your promise of healing. So we look for your greatest good, Lord Jesus. Your greatest good, we agree. We agree in the mighty name of Jesus for complete healing and restoration over his physical body. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, oh, and the forum is up. If you haven't seen it yet, it's up. You know, I need to make a, a YouTube video and put it up because that's how a lot of people hear things. And I didn't really have a total announcement last time. I just put... I tacked it on with my video that I announced the, the Stickam broadcast last time. And then, of course, I took it down, so I haven't really <laughs> advertised it. But I'll try and get to that this week. Um, it's at www.hearinggod.proboards.com. Uh, post your prayer request there, and you can get people praying all week long, okay? Uh, trying to build a community of people who um, are wanting to go deeper with God, uh, can cover each other, um, fellowship, um, so, you know, and you can also post your praise reports on there, so, coolness, um, so, that's an awesome praise, uh, it's been a long time coming, um, the, such a time as this, I guess, so, all right, um, I was asking on the forum, I was using it, uh, I was asking prayer because uh, Hurricane Sandy had potential to harm our business, my husband's business, because it would basically whisk away all his clients, um, you know, because they would be taking care of, of that damage there. Um, we're still waiting to hear about, you know, where, what, what the situation is with that, um, you know, if, if you know what their timetable is we don't we don't know yet um, but we're praying regard that regarding that because you know we don't want to hiccup in our finances uh, we want to keep plowing along um, so you know as a praise report that we have gotten out of that thus far is um, storm gal um, she's on YouTube and she also joined up on the forum um, she's actually in Manhattan and so, you know, I was checking in with her beforehand and then afterhand. And 
she had major praise. She was just like, wow, on cloud nine about it because didn't, you know, so many people are without electricity, power, you know, flooding and all that stuff. She has her electricity, her water, her internet. Um, you know, there's some trees down in her neighborhood, but just praise God. We were, we were praying that God would protect his own. And so awesome, awesome testimony there. So still we can uh, pray for those that were affected um, by the storm and are still being affected by it and that um, those people uh, would be drawn to himself. So, Bera should tear up a canibarato. Brain bera tepera son para lavara shanta. Brain bera kino roto roto. Rui bera son tara vesheve kenebeke. Thank you, Jesus, for your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you do not delight in these things that happen, but that. You call forth all man to unto yourself. So, Lord Jesus, we just ask and we thank and we praise you. Uh, send forth your labors into your harvest, Lord Jesus. Send them forth. We thank you, Lord Jesus, when you send your angels to help and assist. And how many times we do not realize who they are. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We just continue to agree with your perfect will that the laborers be sent. That your witness go out, that your gospel go out, that they touch each and every person affected, and that uh, your name be exalted. Thank you, Jesus, for the great harvest. Thank you, Jesus, that this is part of it, even in the birth pangs that it is part of your harvest and I thank you for the salvation of a great multitude because of the storm. Thank you Jesus that they are reaching out now. Send forth your spirit. Send forth their spirit as they ask, seek and knock that the miraculous open up to them. Thank you Jesus. Okay. Um, all right, and part of that, too, um, regarding my husband's business, we are desiring to be free of leased equipment, and that's why we don't want a hiccup in our finances, because we're trying to, you know, it's like a, le a lease kind of situation kinds of, kind of keeps us like this, and when, when uh, the business gets cut, you know, we're just we're holding on we're maintaining ground here but we want to get the more business in so that we can get free of uh, a lease and just buy our own equipment outright so um, if you could pray for us uh, that's that's my re prayer request for the week okay um, all right Andy is asking prayer for Eric who's in the hospital awaiting triple bypass surgery and um, this has already been delayed. Um, it was supposed to happen, I th believe, Friday. Um, but now it's been delayed to Monday, which awesome because we get to pray. Um, and we pray that during this time that um, this, this delay has just prepared his heart and drawn him closer to you, Lord Jesus. But we speak to that heart. We speak life. We speak your abundant life, Lord Jesus. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would go into your storeroom and pull out that new heart and place it in Eric's chest. That he may declare the wonders of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that he is held in your safety and that his family is held in your safety thank you for hearing the prayers of your saints Lord Jesus thank you Jesus 
Brunda Kenepa Kanapaka. Brunda Kanapaka. We place Eric in your hands, Lord Jesus. Blumba da O great comforter. Shiba Baba Sukunepe Kanapaka. Comfort him, O Lord. Comfort him, O Lord Jesus. Give him the strength that he needs. We pray your victory over this hurt situation. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, and if we get any updates regarding it, uh, it'll be on that forum, all right? Um, and I just want to say a prayer um, in general. Um, Andy has some family members, aging family members, and the whole care, you know, taking care of and, and situation, um, you know, and I got grand, grandparents that I go and visit and, and take care of and stuff. I just want to speak blessing over those that um, are in a position to uh, help family members that are aging or, or even neighbors uh, that are helping the elderly. I just ask for for blessing, Lord Jesus. You say that true religion is helping the widow and the orphan. And I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that even though sometimes it is taxing, it is sometimes hard, that uh, your servants are storing up treasure in heaven. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray that all their needs be met according to your riches and glory, Lord Jesus. Bless your servants, Lord. Give them strength. Give them wisdom on all the things that they need to do. And bless them with cheerful dispositions. That may they just pick up uh, the elderly through the roof in, in, in the joy that they exude. Thank you, Jesus. Bless them. Bless them, bless them. Awesome. All right. J. Mark um, had asked for prayers for a young Muslim man that he'd been talking to. Um, his name's Murat. And, you know, it's like, you, you know when you're speaking to someone, you know if they have an openness or not, you know? And J. Mark feels this. There's that openness. Um, so we just agree. And not only for Murat, but for uh, many in, in the religion of, of Islam, that uh, that God calls His own from the four corners of the earth. He's looking into those hearts. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Even broader than Islam, every every religion, from everything, He looks to and fro, in on the hearts of man. And I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. That is such a beautiful thing that even though people are raised up and forced even with a religion upon them that their that their hungry heart searches and searches for you and if they search and if they ask and if they knock you open that door so I thank and praise you Lord Jesus I ask for your blessing especially upon those that witness those that are examples I, I pray that Good and holy examples surround these searching people. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Bless them with your truth. Amen. All right. And of course, I want to pray for Jim. Jim, who's giving me some payback. He's got a poll going on in the forum. Because I did a poll on uh, on my blog a while back. So, like like I thought I could escape from that, huh? Alright, well we like to have fun, right? 
Okay. Um, I want to read some scripture from Luke 18, starting verse 1. Now he was telling them a parable to show that at all times they ought to pray and not lose heart. Saying, in a certain city there was a judge who did not fear God and did not respect man. There was a widow in that city, and she kept coming to him, saying, Give me legal protection from my opponent. For a while he was unwilling, but afterward he said to himself, Even though I do not fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will give her legal protection. Otherwise, by continually coming, she will wear me out. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge said? Now will not God bring about justice for his elect who cry to him day and night? And will he delay long over them? I tell you that he will bring about justice for them quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We want to be your remnant that has faith on this earth. And what is that promise of faith of a mustard seed, huh? So we are going to stand just like that widow. Only we're before an awesome God who loves us and declares good over our lives. He has a wonderful destiny and purpose. And so we just continue to pray for James regarding the condition of organic brain dysfunction. And we declare the sovereign hand of God's victory over it. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new brain for James. With every synapse, every fiber, every part in complete and perfect communication with the rest of the body. That there is no trembling or shaking or weariness. But he is strong in you, Lord Jesus, and the power of your might. And we declare your goodness over his life. In and through him, Lord Jesus. Pour forth your healing power through James's body. From the top of his head all the way through to the bottom of his feet. Holy Spirit. We invite you in, Brubeke, to take control of James's atmosphere. For you are good, Lord Jesus. You are good. Brubeke, we call forth your power. Your power, Lord Jesus. And we thank and we praise you that it is finished. That it is done. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, give me some testimony, James. I'm waiting. I'm seriously waiting with great expectation for the day that you tell me. Yeah. Until then, we're going to keep our chins up, right? Amen. Okay. Um, Josh um, needs prayer. He needs the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He says, I need the power that comes with it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that he recognizes, that he realizes this. We pray that nothing be withheld from Josh. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that he asked, he asked, he comes to the master, and he asked for more. I thank you, Lord Jesus. We baptize him in the power of the Holy Spirit. We call forth your power, Lord Jesus, your most holy comforter, to come and flood over him. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that this power is a calling to go forth unto the nations. That as you baptize him, 
with your most Holy Spirit, that he will be your mouthpiece. To declare your gospel. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for Josh. Bless him, Lord Jesus. Bless him, Lord Jesus, with your power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I will keep praying for you, Josh. I will keep praying for you. Okay. Um, we will pray for a man we will call D. <laughs> he asks um, if we could pray for... He has had a 35-year-old scar <laughs> on his forehead. And uh, he, he just wants it gone. Um, that's not, that's not something God can't do. It isn't. God cares how we, you know, what, what things we care about. I can't tell you how many times I've just wanted some little tiny thing for my kids. And I've just been thinking about it. And then the Lord will show up and I will get something the, more than what I wanted for free. <laughs> just because the Lord cares. And this, this is a scar. And he told, he, he mentioned, um, you know, it's been healing over time. It's not so bad now. But in the past, um, that it gave him a lot of emotional problems. You know, and imagine that, you know, you go to meet somebody and they're looking at your scar instead of you, you know. Um, or wondering, hmm, I wonder how he got that. Maybe he's a rebel. <laughs> or whatever. Um, so, Lord Jesus, we just speak to that connective tissue that's even beneath the scar. We speak a softening to it. That scar tissue, we call forth it to, to dissolve into normal skin. We speak life into his skin. We speak elasticity. We speak collagen into that. Lord Jesus, we just ask that your, by the power of your spirit that any uh, discoloration would be bleached out in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as a baby's bottom, <laughs> may it be just so smooth. Give him that victory, Lord Jesus, as he looks in the mirror, that he may praise the wonders of your name. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Um, Larry has a stretched out tendon. I got to pray over it last night, and... It's stretched out enough to where you can see a bump right under the skin. So, yeah, it's stretched out. Um, hadn't been bugging him until he walked over some uneven ground um, like a week ago or something. So we just want to, uh, you know, add on with the prayers that I prayed. And we just want to call that tendon to go back to normal. Just like a rubber band, we declare, tendon, you are not stretched out. That you are knit right back up to the perfect way that the good Lord formed you. That you will hold the bone, that you will hold the muscle, all where it needs to be. We speak life to the muscles and the tissue all surrounding that ankle, and we speak strength and life into it. Bump, we command you to dissipate right now in the mighty name of Jesus because that tendon 
is going back. It's going back. Going back to where it's supposed to be. Brumba kinabaka Brumba, thank you, Lord Jesus, for your angels that are working that surgery out right now as we speak. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that he may praise and declare the works of your name. Amen. Okay, uh, Jamie has a burden to teach on topics surrounding holiness and sexual purity, uh, the whole fleeing immorality thing. And as you can imagine, this is a very important topic. Uh, this Jamie is a girl. Um, it would be nice if more men would do this too. But um, there aren't a lot of people really stepping out and calling calling it what it is and saying, hey, um, we have to about face. We have to. Um, so she's getting some attack. So we would like to shield and cover her we would like to declare that um, she teach only what the Lord would have her to do in his perfect timing in his way Lord Jesus that you would just ignite that fire that you would control her lips that she would speak your word and your truth that you would just anoint her. Baptism of purity. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you're doing with Jamie. And you disagree with it? And we declare that uh, beneath the shadow of your wing, she is covered. She is shielded. We, we send forth our love to cover her. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Daniel would like prayer. Um, he says he has been feeling dry and thirsty in the Lord. Um, he feels discouragement sometimes. Um, having some night attacks, you know, with some bad dreams and, and whatnot. Um, and part of that is, um, just where we are. Um, I think... It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, people I talk to, it's like everybody seems to be going through this bottleneck at the same time uh, with attacks and whatnot. And then it'll lift a little, and then it's like there's this joy and this peace and, and stuff. And then it's like, oh, here we go through another birth bang, and, and then there's this battle stuff again. And I just, I just praise God. Um, I just thank God for Daniel's heart because he so encourages me because he is hungry for the Lord. He cannot get enough of the Lord. And that is exciting to me. That encourages me uh, because I want that too. And some of the things, sometimes he talks about how thirsty he is and it just draws me in. Um, maybe that's a ministry, huh? Just to talk about how you long, <laughs> Psalm, Psalm 63, how you long for the Lord, huh? In a dry and parched land. So, uh, Lord Jesus, we just ask for your blessing upon Daniel. That you would purify him, even in the night watch, that your angels would guard and protect over him that you would strengthen and nurture his every need his every desire that he would seek after you and be satisfied even when you're a little quiet Lord that he would rest in you that he would rest right where he knows the word he knows the word that he would rest and be secure in that 
And I, I shared with them about to study about how his grace is sufficient for thee. Study it. He is so more than sufficient for us. That's awesome. Just to really think about it. So, thank you, Jesus, for Daniel. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Okay. Um... Okay, Mahai um, sent me a message, and he's begun to study the word of the Lord and pray to Jesus. Uh, when reading and praying, he's hearing a bad voice in his head telling me wrong words about God and sins. Um, so he's praying for peace in his mind, uh, not to hear those voices anymore. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he has the peace in his mind. Um, but, you know, there's this battle going on. Um, he's worrying about them. Is that normal, or how can I cancel them for good? So, um, I did a video called um, Battlefield of the Mind Discerning Thoughts. And in it, I share when I had a major kind of revelation about... The voices in my head <laughs> because I had a lot of generational baggage and with that baggage was a lot of voices and so there were things that I always thought was just me uh, thoughts and you know ways I would judge other people or whatever um, but after I had the you know I, I went through a prayer where I renounced all the sins of the forefather uh, generational curse stuff which if you need videos of that I've got a spiritual house cleaning series and there's uh, videos on uh, generational curses and whatnot um, also on there um, that's another thing you can do but um, in the discerning thoughts it's like after I had that prayer session and all of a sudden you know the deliverance from those spirits then my mind was so quiet I'm like what is you know I didn't realize that all those voices weren't me <laughs> so then uh, when they would try to come back you know I, I got used to the quiet when they would try to come back and I would hear this contrary thought it's like the Holy Spirit put a wall up within within me and so it's like I could hear something on the other side of that wall. I knew it wasn't me then. I knew it. And so when it would try to come back and in, input that thought right then and there, I knew what taking thoughts, every thought captive unto the obedience of Christ meant. That came full revelation force. And so then it was an exciting time because then I could do what? I could exercise my authority. And how is it exciting is that to realize we have all these promises and we have this promise of power and authority in Jesus Christ. So, yes, I did exercise that. And so that's something that you can do, Mahai, um, is when those thoughts come, you counter those thoughts with what the Scripture says. So if you hear a voice say, you're just a, a little weakling, you can't do anything, you can say, nah, -uh. I can do all things through Christ whom is my strength. You know, and think of all the topical situations. That's why I did the Bible Promise series, because I wanted to build up myself in the Word, and I just happened to share it with you all. <laughs> I just kind of kept going with it, and it kind of grew. So check out that series, too. Because you can, on YouTube, you can make a playlist, create a playlist, and all the videos that are targeting your specific areas, like if you're dealing with feelings of maybe anger that turn into jealousy and stuff like that, you can pick those scriptures that focus, you know, on all those kind of areas that are related because uh, that's what spirits like to do. They like to sneak in. One sneaks in, but there's all these related spirits that hammer you all, all too. And so it's hard to pinpoint them. So 
you can then put the playlist on a loop and play it all night long if you want. Um, anytime you're in the house, play it. Um, get the Word of God in you because it is the, the, the sword. It is the promise of our... The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. So when you, you know, use it by professing it, you know, the more you speak it and do it, the more it becomes you, the more you conform to Christ. When you first start out, you might not feel it. But remember, you're conforming. You are making your body your slave, you know, the carnal flesh your slave. And you are going to keep speaking the word until it becomes you. And so then, eventually, the thoughts and things will become less and less because they can't, they can't get an access point with you anymore. They get an access point when you slip and you agree. You know, if uh, you do something and it's wasn't that great of a thing, and the voice says, "Hey, stupid," and then you you sit there and you say, "Oh, I'm so," and you say it. Right then, you need to stop yourself and confess the opposite. Say, "Nope, I'm not that. I'm not that. Thank you, Jesus, for catching me. I am learning to conform. I'm going to conform to your image." So that's how you just have to exercise, exercise, and eventually you'll become it. So, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for my brother. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that indeed you do strengthen him. Indeed, he does see the power in your word and the excitement that he gets in reading your holy scripture. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. We bind up worry in the mighty name of Jesus. Worry, you don't have a place here within him. He recognizes what you're doing. And you're trying to intimidate him. And trying to keep him from entering in deeper into the things of God. So we bind you by the authority we have in Jesus Christ. And we command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. And we impart peace into him, and life, and joy, and security. We thank you for your protection over him. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our brother. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for many times of fruitful study. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that he may grow like a weed in your precious word. That he may just have explosive growth in you, Lord Jesus. All right. Well, how long have we been going on here today? Ah, you know what? I was going to add a whole section of topic, but it's going to push me way too far uh, for this. I realized maybe 10 minutes before I did this that the Lord was showing me that I need to do a teaching. So that's another thing I need to do this week. Remind me, I need to do two videos this week, right? Um, and it's basically on the topic of uh, how God cannot bless our sin. Um, so I will, I will work on that video for this week. Um, but that's kind of where that leaves me for right now. Um, but, uh, if anybody has any other prayer requests, if you want to go ahead and text them or email them in to info at hearinggod.tv, that would be just peachy. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to pray and then I'm going to uh, leave you with a, with a video that kind of leaves off on that topic of, um, you know, God not blessing sin, but that we need to walk it out. Um, but uh, we just thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. 
We thank you for, you are our strength. And you are our song. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord God, um, for those that are in the United States of America, I just ask, Lord Jesus, for your hand upon all those that would vote, that they would really look at what you say in your word, and that even if they feel they have to pick the lesser of two evils, that they must choose life, that they may live, and I'm, I, I, the biggest issue for me that I can see is who supports Israel. Who supports Israel? Big, big issue. And I think Andy had uh, written not too long ago, please pray for Israel. Uh, he says it's, he's getting so much uh, when, he, when he prays for Israel. So Lord Jesus, we just uphold. Our big brother. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. For though we can't understand um, everything, we know, Lord Jesus, that you have planned it in your, in your word that you talk about your chosen people. We honor them, Lord Jesus, and we do pray. We pray for their leadership. We pray for their safety. We pray over their entire country. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for those that our eyes are opening to you, Lord Jesus. Send forth your, your spirit. Send forth that preparation that they might receive you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we just ask for an awesome week as you dispatch us out. That we may uh, conform ourselves to your perfect word, Lord Jesus, and your perfect will. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We receive the abundance that you have for our, our souls, that we may prosper in all that we do. Thank you, Jesus. We just praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.